What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to take you through on how I made this image using a super easy AI tool, Image Presto. It's probably one of the easier ones to use. I've tried Mid Journey, I've tried Ideagram. All of those were a little bit harder to get the exact image that I was trying to get. And with Image Presto, it makes it super easy because now you're able to enter the text that's going to be entered into the image as well. So now you don't have to add it after or try to get the right spelling. It does it for you. And so it made it super easy when I'm making either the Etsy designs or even just these DTF designs. So designs like this, when people send them over, I'm able to get the correct spelling on everywhere. And it made it super easy to now make logos and different designs for different customers. So today I'll take you through on how I set that up and how to make images. To get started, I'll post the link down below in the description for you. It has a tutorial for you, so we can go through that. So the tutorial will take you through and it's gonna explain the different tools that they have. So it has the image generator, the image upscaler, the background remover, which is pretty accurate. They have three different versions for it that will remove it. This is the canvas editor. You can add logos, text, and other elements to your Im images. This is the generative fill. It will let the AI remove elements in your image so you can fill or remove stuff from an image. You can add things in or take it out. Logo wizard, awesome tool. This one, you can do a prop for what you want the image to be. And then it has a separate box where you can add in the text that you want in the image. And then it incorporates the text into the image instead of some of the other ones where you have to create the image and then add it afterwards and then try to figure out how to get it to to work with the image, this one does it for you. It also has video generation. If you wanted to create a video based on a prompt, you could do five to 10 second videos. So that you can use those to create social media clips. I'm gonna get started and I'm gonna be using their new Flux model, which is the image generator that creates the awesome accurate images. Create new image. We're gonna go to image generator. And this is how you can create your different designs for t-shirts or different logos, different styles. Just come over here, choose the different style. So I have a list of props already, but if you don't have one, you can create a random generator one. Bam. And so that's ready to print. And I could do a sticker design of it. So that could be printed as a sticker. I can do. Do a character chair. Oh, let's <laughs> Let's make it adorable. That's not that adorable. <laughs> but you see, you could do different styles and you'll get different results. So play around with it, see which one you want. But this is how you'll get the different ones. And for Etsy designs, you can create those here as well. We're going to do t-shirt design. So this is going to be for Etsy. So these are like the designs that you see on Etsy all the time. You just go and download it. So I removed the black and the show the shirt will fill in for that.
it. So for complicated images like this, instead of using Canva, which will leave possibly white lines around this, you do portrait, remove, and there we go. Complete background remove with no issues. So same thing if I want to do something more, more complicated like this. Complete black background removal. So this could be printed. You can use these for stickers or whatever. It's an easy way for you to make stickers from the DTF designs just by removing the background. Nine. Go ahead, upscale it. And so before it was a little fuzzy. And so when you print, anytime you print images, even if they have a little fuzz, they're gonna come out a little blurry. So if you can sharpen them, anytime you can get them a little bit sharper, you'll definitely get more colors to pop and you'll get better images. So this upscaler image right here is a game changer for DTF. And then once you have your image upscaled, you just go ahead and download the upscale. You can keep the original as well. All right, the last main tool that I'm gonna go over today is the logo maker. And this one right here is the game changer that I think stands out or makes this image presto stand out differently than a lot of other AIs, which is you can enter your prompt. You're able to enter the prompt. And then below, you can actually enter the text that you want incorporate it into the image so if it's for say your business this is where you enter your brand name or the business name or if it's say like you're doing like a wedding template this is where you enter that or say birthdays you can enter the person's name there and then it will incorporate that into the image so instead of you having to create the image and then add the text and then try to figure out a way to make it look like it's part of the image. This is just going to do it all for you. And if you put it down here, it'll be more accurate than if you try to put it in just as the prompt. So we're going to get generated. There we go. We got the iron gem. And down here, we can use the guidance scale to give us more accurate get it closer to the prompt to give us more accurate images. Cool. And we can change the text. So this will change the image. There is another feature that allows you to change the text. But you'll be able to create images and add your text, but you'll see it's accurate. You won't have to worry about the text being messed up. And let me show you the pricing for that. So you can do yearly or monthly. Uh, right now I'm on the hobby one. It gave me 8,500 credits and I've been able to create a good amount of logos. I've still have plenty of credits and I've created probably like 50 plus and just playing around with the software and everything. I've created a, a ton of amounts. So they will last you a pretty good amount. I'll show you through, go through and show you kind of where you're going to spend most of them or just how the credits work as well, but and it'll generate something for you. And so the image generator is probably where you're going to use most of the credits and it's going to be based on some stuff here. So if you're just using the standard, you're only going to be using 30 credits to create this image. And for the pro version, you'll be using 60 to create an image. They have different quality. So the lower quality the image, the less credits you'll use. So if you want it, use it, get an image that's super fast. It's only going to cost you three. And then it goes up as you increase the quality. And normally I'm doing the pro quality. It's how DTF ready quality images, dev balanced. This one will put out images that are good for like social media, putting those on social media. But if you want DTF and Etsy ready designs, you got to use the pro quality. This 
this is going to give you more of the sharp lines and closer to what you're exactly trying to print or exactly trying to get the problem. Mm -hmm.